Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2013 NFL Draft Special for the Miami Dolphins. We're going to take a look at their draft selection, and we're going to hand out draft grades. So we're going to look at every pick this past year, as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. The Dolphins made a lot of big splashes on the offensive side of the football and free agency. So when you look at their draft, you see where their focus was. They wanted to get better defensively, more in particular in the secondary. And I think they were able to accomplish that. They had a lot of other good selections on this board. Caleb Surges, I understand getting the best kicker in the country. Just want to know how he's going to fit on his roster. But still was a great selection in my opinion. Deion Sims out of Michigan State, a solid tight end athletic guy that can't catch the football and stretch the defense. Jelani Jenkins out of Florida brings a lot of speed to the position. So when I look at what I like most about this Dolphins draft, we talked about it earlier. The defense side of the football was a focal point, and they did a great job. I didn't mind the trade up to get Deion Jordan because they only gave up a second round pick, and they got a guy whom they coveted as one of the best pass rushers in this draft. Also, the Jamar Taylor selection in the second round. I have nothing against guys that have ball skills. He's also a very good tackler, and I like this fit. It, it fills the need, and it also helps them out in the back end. And also, Will Davis out of Utah State. Again, there's no downside to getting cornerbacks that can catch the football. So all in all, I think the Dolphins did a great job of addressing their defensive needs. And on the offense, I love the addition of Mike Gillisley. I think this guy will be their starting kickoff and punt returner. He has that value that he brings to the table. Also, is a very underrated, tough inside runner. So now you have three different backs in the backfield that provide a little something different than one another. Lamar Miller is your breakaway threat. You have a slasher in Mike Gillisley and a guy that can get the tough yards in Daniel Thomas. There were some elements of the Dolphins draft that I didn't like, and one was the fact that they didn't add another wide receiver in the draft in the top three rounds for Ryan Tannehill. You want to give him every ample opportunity to be successful. Adding another playmaker at the receiver position wouldn't have hurt. And also look at Daniel Thomas. Now, like Daniel Thomas as a football player, I don't know if they drafted him to be a left tackle. I think he's better suited to play on the inside. So now you still have possibly the same question mark you had about that offensive line going into the draft. If he's going to play left tackle, that's a miss. If he's going to play on the interior, that's a very good selection. Here are some of the undrafted free agents that could surprise and make the Dolphins roster. I look at wide receiver Jasper Collins out of Mount Union. Covered him down at the East-West Shrine game. Did a great job all week. One element of his game that I really like, he runs precise routes and knows how to get open. He's probably going to fill that role left open by the vacated Devon Best. And we look at Keelan Johnson out of Arizona State. I like this fit for him. He's going to have a spot in that secondary to compete as a backup. He can also catch interceptions, solid ball skills all the way around. And Robert McCabe out of Georgetown covered him as well down at the East-West Shrine game. Did a great job every day in practice in his coverage skills. So keep an eye on that as he may be used as a special teamer initially, but definitely can find his way on the field in sub packages. I'm giving the Dolphins a solid B plus for their draft. When you look at teams that do a great job in free agency, usually their draft lacks, not the Dolphins. They did a great job from rounds one through seven, even utilizing the, their extra picks to move up to get a guy they wanted. I have absolutely no issue with what they did this past April. And I want to give a huge shout out to Dolphin Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.